This is Ford Ranger Raptor 2013 with a 3.2 liter diesel engine. The engine produces a maximum torque of 170 and a power of 147 kilowatts. Uh, it's, uh, the, the fuel consumption is, is 9.7 liter per 100 kilometer. Of course, uh, this is not your ordinary pickup. It's, uh, it's got a five passenger capacity and the four doors. You can see it's a, uh, a four-wheel drive. It has cruise control, uh, parking assist technology. Uh, we have uh, stability control engine immobilizer. We have dust sensing uh, headlamps. Uh, we have size, size 18 tires with ILO rims. Today we are going to look at the, we are going to take around what the Ford Ranger Raptor 2013 has to offer. This is the diesel version. It's a, it has a six speed automatic transmission system. Uh, and let's, now let's go around and look at what we have with Ford Ranger Raptor 2013. Let's look at what we have with the Raptor 2013 in terms of the carrier space. When you look at the carrier space, it's not, uh, it's not very large, but you can easily redesign it to fit your specific needs. Uh, the space is pretty decent. Uh, so because it's a passenger car and also uh, it, it's a passenger car and also it can help in terms of carrying your luggage. Another thing with this car, it can maneuver through different terrains. It's a four-wheel drive and the power is very good. Actually, uh, the engine capacity produces enough power to help in terms of manu maneuvering through different terrains. On the passenger side, we have, uh, you can see, very big space. It means uh, when you're traveling, you're going to be very comfortable. Uh, you are not going to strain even on a long journey. We have the speaker system also on the passenger side. Uh, the door control knobs and, and all that we have, the mat, uh, the front airbags, and also we have the door handles here. The seats have got a headrest, which are pretty comfortable. You can adjust them according to your height. The seats are trimmed in soft leather, you can see. They are very comfortable and, and large. They can easily fit, uh, you can easily fit here. At the door, we have the stepping grill, you can see. We have the aluminum engraving at the door with the, some writings there. We, on the door panel, we have the window control buttons here. Uh, window control buttons. We have the door unlock. We have the storage space and also, we have the speaker system, uh, both here and here. Uh, we have the power steering system, the ignition and the key. We have the vents for the drivers. Also, we have the window control buttons here. You see, it's uh, automatic. On the instrument cluster just uh, ahead of me here, we have the RPM gauge, we have the speedometer, and you can see the top speed is 200 kilometers per hour, which is more than sufficient. At the, we have the traction control, you can see the tra traction control button and also down here we have the power output, uh, it's 12 volts power output. At the, at the center console of course we have the infotainment system, you can see we have the radio. These are a set of buttons in, in, to, to control the infotainment system, of course this is the, uh, you can also this car, it's got Bluetooth, so you can connect it by Bluetooth and also you can make calls. The screen uh, at the top of the center console is a bit small, but of course it, uh, it serves the purpose. Uh, down here, we have the climate control buttons. Uh, you can see, very easy. Uh, down here, we have the gear stick, which is well laid. Also, we have the option for the, the mods. We have uh, three modes here, of course, if you want to put it, depending on the terrain. We have the handbrake here. We have the two cup holders for both the driver and the passenger. We have the armrest here. You can see pretty decent, though it's not very big, but it can help you in terms of when you're traveling. It also acts as a storage space. You can pull it and you pull this one. It's uh, very large. Uh, so you can store your items there. We have the glove box here, which is pretty decent. This is a 2013 car. 
we have the airbags also on the passenger side we have uh, the vents which are nice also we have the terrain pattern here whereby you can if you are uh, if you are going downhill you can select it we have the the power output uh, section here also we have the storage locations uh, which are pretty decent we have the sun visor here both on the passenger and the driver side we have the light controls the rear view mirror which is pretty decent the seats are trimmed in soft leather and they are pretty decent they are very light on the driver side we have the uh, electric power seats and also these are the uh, seat control knobs you can control the position of the seat you can see you can adjust them according to your liking bonnet open button there you can just pull it so that you can open the bonnet here is a storage space also you can store a few items there not very bad we have the door mats on the passenger side we have uh, you can see very big space it means uh, when you're traveling you're going to be very comfortable uh, you're not going to strain even on a long journey we have the speaker system also on the passenger side uh, the door control knobs and, and all that we have the mat uh, the front airbags and also we have the door handles here the seats I've got a headrest which are pretty comfortable. You can adjust them according to your height. The seats are trimmed in soft leather, you can see. They are very comfortable and, and large. They can easily fit. Uh, you can easily fit here. At the back, you can see we have enough headroom. And also the legroom is, uh, is spacious enough due to the fact that, you know, this is a, this is a pickup. But because it's, so, it's got all these spaces and all that, it's pretty decent. The seats, uh, three, it's, uh, three passengers can easily fit at the back. We have the headrests which are adjustable. You can adjust them according to your height and all that. The seats are trimmed in soft leather and they are very, they are very nice. They are, the material quality is up to standard. Uh, we have the storage locations here which are pretty decent. Uh, we have the power output here and also some small storage spaces here let's look at what we have below the hood <laughs> what you see here is a 3.2 uh, liter uh, diesel engine it produces a horsepower of 480 newton meter and a power of 148 kilo kilowatts 